Did you know one of Ghost's most popular songs is actually one of their easiest to play on guitar? Today, we're gonna learn Square Hammer, Ghost's massive single off of 2016's Pope Star. Tune your guitar down to D standard, and let's get to it. Square Hammer starts with the most iconic riff of the 21st century, and it goes like this. <laughs> We're gonna use all of our fingers to play this. Pointer finger is gonna go to the second fret. Our middle is gonna cover the third fret. The ring is gonna cover the fourth, and our pinky is gonna cover the fifth fret. In the game of basketball, when you stop dribbling, you can only pivot, and it's very stupid. That's kind of how this riff is, except the stupid part. It's the pivoting part is the important part. So our ring finger is gonna cover four on D, and it goes to our pinky covering five on D. We can hit whatever other notes we want, but we're always going back to that four and five. So having said that. It's gonna go two on D, four, five, three on A, four, five, two on A, four, five, five on A, four, five, back to five on A. And I guess you could hit that open D string if you want because of the same note. That's the main riff. Now we're gonna learn the verse. All power chords. And if you don't know what a power chord is, that's totally fine. We're gonna learn it right now. You have your pointer finger covering one note, you go down one string, and you go over two. I'm having a power chord on the seventh fret of the A string. My other note is gonna be a nine on D because seven plus two is nine, and you pass first grade math. I play it seventh fret on the E string, one and two and down to the third fret, three and four, second fret, and one and two, fifth fret, and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and back to the main red full speed. Do that twice, and now we're into the chorus. So as you can see so far, this song is the definition of it doesn't have to be complex to be a good song. Personally, I think this song is the catchiest song in Ghost's discography, and it's by far one of the simplest, which just goes to show that it doesn't need to be complex to be an awesome song. And if you think this song is awesome, and you think learning this song is awesome, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It would really help the channel, and there's plenty more Ghost lessons on this channel. You can learn Dance Macabre, you can learn Hunter's Moon, you can learn Call Me Little Sunshine. There's a lot of Ghost lessons to go around. Let's learn the chorus. <laughs> We're gonna play a power chord on the E string to a power chord on the third fret of the A string. Then I'm gonna hit this third fret on E and slide up to eight on the E string and then we're gonna play my favorite chord, the ninth chords. So that's a, from three, I take my pointer finger and I slide it up to eight. Then I'm gonna use my ring finger to hit uh, 10 on the A string. And then I use my pinky to hit 12 on D. And then we're gonna go hit a G power chord to a D power chord. And then we have that little riff, which is just five, seven on E, uh, five on A. Back to our E power chord. C power chord. We're gonna palm mute the G power chord. D power chord. This lick in the middle, we have three different variations depending on which chorus we're in. And the first chorus is just what we did earlier. The second chorus, we go five, seven, five, back to seven on E, and then we slide up from five to seven, and then we hit those in unison. Third one has a harmony. Four, five, seven on D, and then I slide from this four up to five. And then we're back to our E power. Then we do that first part one more time. Our power chord slide.
This is where we change it up that last time through. We're gonna hit three with our pointer finger on the E string. Five with our ring on A. Back to three on E. Stretch that pinky up to seven on D. Back to three on E. Use that pinky to now hit five on D, which is a lot easier. And then we're gonna go our uh, D power chord. So the whole chorus goes like this. chorus into the solo, you hit an A power chord twice, and then remember our pivot notes? We go back to those, so it's A power chord, on the A string it's open, two, three, four, five on D, and then we're gonna hit five on A, and go four, five, on the D string, and now we're in the solo! You ready to play the solo? The solo is Awesome. If you're in a dual guitar band, this is sick because one guitar is gonna play the first half, this doesn't have strings on it. And the other guitar is gonna power through with the second half. This solo is too much fun to play and you're gonna learn it right now. Technically, this is split between two guitars. We're not gonna discern that today. We're just gonna learn it straight through. If you're in a band with two guitars, split it right down the middle. Actually, it, at the one guitar finishes at... And then the other guy takes over. First lick goes like this. I go to this little pentatonic box on the seventh fret, and I'm gonna use my pointer finger on seven to hammer on to nine. Go up to the G string and play uh, seven, and then I'm gonna use my ring finger to hit that E note. Now we're at home bass, and remember our ninth chords, we're making that shape again. Seven, nine on D. Pinky's going to 11 on G. Do that again, but now stretch up to uh, 12 on G. I move my pointer finger up to um, 9 on the D string. Hit 12 on G, uh, 12 on B. And then I end on 9 on G. Now part two is we go down to um, the B string and we do a hammer-on pull-off thing. Pick, pull-off, hammer-on, pull-off. 4 on G. Back to 3 on B and hammer-on to uh, 5. And then we're gonna do that again. And then you're gonna come up to the seventh fret of the B string and you're gonna bend that up. And down. Then you're gonna hit five, bend seven up. Hit it while it's bent up and bring it down. Now, subtle thing here that you'll hear in a lot of rock music, when you bend it up, we don't wanna just keep it bent and bend it down. If you look, I'm actually gonna release it just a hair and bend it back up to pitch before I bring it down. You hear the difference? Versus. It's very subtle, but it makes the note move a little bit more. And then we're gonna go to seven on G, seven on D. Um, yeah, that note there, which is nine on D. And then we go to, uh, seven on G. And then from there, we can either play our main riff. We can play it on this octave, so starting on nine on the G string. But what I like to do is come up here and play it on the 12th fret of the E string. So that first half of the solo is gonna go like this.
Real quick note from the editing table. I went back and listened to Square Hammer because I had this like unnerving anxiety that I had got something wrong in the solo, which it turns out I technically didn't, but I had confused all the live versions I've heard the song with the studio version. And do you remember, hold on, let me get a guitar. Do you remember how we talked about this part and we bend that note back up again before we bring it down? That's actually only in the live version. He doesn't do that in the studio version. It's just... So, um, yeah, I mean, do with that what you will. I usually play the uh, live version, I guess, because that's what I'm teaching you. But um, do whatever you want. It's all whatever you want to play. Unless you're a nameless ghoul, then you got to do whatever Papa tells you to do. But if you're playing it for your leisure, do whatever you want. Back to the lesson. We're going to do double stop from 7 on D and G, and we're going to slide up to 9. And then we're going to go to this, I call it the Van Halen shape. We're not doing Van Halen, but we're going to bar 7 on D, G, and B, and we use my ring finger, or my middle, or my pinky, depending on how I grab the guitar at that given moment, and we're gonna hit eight on B, and I'm gonna release it. So, to that bar, then I'm gonna grab it again, do the same thing, and then I'm gonna bring my double stop, I bring my ring finger and bar seven on A and uh, D, and slide it up to nine. And then I go back to this original double stop. So that's gonna go. We do that again, sort of. Instead of doing this Van Halen thing twice, we do it once. We go up to 12 on the B string, and then we hit uh, 12 on G a couple times. And then we go to 11 on G. At the end of the solo, we're gonna jump up to our 15th fret on B, my pointer finger, and I'm gonna hammer on to 17. Back to 15. You're gonna come up with your pointer to 14 on E and bend it. Release it. Uh, 15 on B. 14 on G. To stay on that 14, we're gonna hammer on to 16 on G. Move your pointer finger up to 15 on the B string, and you're gonna do this little hammer on to 17. Back. You're gonna use your middle finger to hit 16 on G. One, two, three. You're gonna play that three times, and afterwards, you're gonna hit this 15 on B to 16 on G, come back up to 15 on B, and slide up to 17. Solos are a little wordy to explain, so I'm just gonna show you the whole thing. And then the outro is just the E power chord. C. Uh, G and D. There's an F sharp in the bass there. I don't play this. I play the spread out chord, so it's really a D but you can play the power chord. And then that right here, right now at the end is five, three, two. So the outro is. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. And that's Square Hammer. So without talking, I'm just gonna go over the parts. <laughs>
that, my friends, is how you play Square Hammer by Ghost. Hope you enjoy playing it. It's so much fun. I love pulling it out at open mics. Any house musician can play along with this because it's so simple, and that's the beauty of it. Go invade your blues jams, your open mics, and get everybody playing Square Hammer. It's a lot of fun. And if you learned something from this video, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can get all the updates on everything ghost related that I do on this channel. Give it a thumbs up, comment what ghost songs you want to learn next. As of now, we got Cerise, we got Respite, and we got Watcher in the Sky in the queue. So if there's anything else you want to learn, let me know in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out! <laughs>